was time to find some beast. FIFA 16 was near and I thought the jungles of Africa were the best place to work. Hey guys, T-Mac signing in and today I'm going to be bringing you a video where I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 beast players on FIFA 16. Now to actually find this top 10, I got the information I'll be telling you about in this video on Foothead through their beast rating. I'll put all the links in the description and if you want to see other beast players, you will see them through that link so make sure to check out the description. And also if there's any players within this top 10 I go through that aren't there that you'd like to be there, let me know down in the comment section. Starting us off at number 10, we have Guarin who has a beast rating of 91 and as you can see on his card he's got 79 pace, 82 dribbling, 88 physical as well as 70 defending. He's actually got really well rounded stats. Let's not forget his shooting which is 80, 79 passing and 79 pace. These stats are freaking incredibly well rounded. As well as this he has 92 shot power, 90 long shots, 90 strength as well as 85 aggression. They're his in game stats. You should be able to see everything everything on the screen. He's our first beast player of this list. Moving on to number 9, we have Rondon who's recently transferred to West Brom. He has a 91 rating beast rating such as Guarin and his on card stats are pretty decent as well. He has 80 pace, 78 shooting, 80 physical, 74 dribbling and these are his best stats on the card which aren't too bad. But it's his in game stats that boost up his rating. He has 85 shot power, 80 shot power which is pretty decent as well as 90 one strength which is incredible which is why he's at number nine and number eight we have Lukaku with a beast rating of 91 his card stats are OP as always 82 pace 73 dribbling 82 physical and 80 shooting this card looks insane a lot of people probably not use him mainly because he's only got 82 pace but he's definitely a card to try out he also has 85 sprint speed 82 finishing 85 shot power as well as 90 strength so you can imagine how good this guy would actually be in game. At number 7 we have Yannick Bolassi with a beast rating of 91. On his card he has 88 pace, 83 dribbling, 79 physical which are his best stats but when it comes to Yannick his in game stats really shows you guys how good this guy actually is. He has 89 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 81 ball control, 86 dribbling, 81 shot power and not forgetting his 82 strength. This allows him to push past players like they're not even there which is why he feels so strong in game especially why he felt so strong in game on FIFA 15. Number 6 we have Mbolo who's a 76 rated striker who plays for Fenerbahce. This guy has a beast rating of 91 and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I've not really used this guy before but his stats do look pretty interesting. He has 86 pace, 78 dribbling as well as 79 pace. I mean for a non-rare gold card that's pretty insane. And in game he has 84 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, 82 ball control as well as 85 strength. This guy is actually a beast. As soon as the game's out I am definitely using this guy. He looks all freaking pain. At number 5 we have another non-rare gold and that's Jerome. He has a 91 beast rating and on his card he has 86 pace, 81 physical as well as 75 shooting which are his best stats. In game he has 84 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 83 shot power as well as 83 strength. For a non-rare gold that is insane. I definitely have to try this guy out. I don't think I've used him enough. Didn't really use him that much in FIFA 15 but in FIFA 16 I'm definitely going to be trying this guy. Out. The non rare golds just keep coming in. At number 4 we have Bebe. He has a 91 rating, beast rating as well. His card stats show 84 pace, 76 dribbling, 75 physical, as well as 75 shooting. He has some pretty decent stats as you can see. In game, he has 88 sprint speed, 80 dribbling, 85 shot power, as well as 82 strength. He plays in the Liga BVVA. I doubt anyone probably uses Bebe, but if he's 4 in this top 10 list of beast he must be worth it like I'm definitely gonna try him out in my league of BVVA squads I mean if he's fourth like I'm saying he must be an absolute beast he starts on bed and he's got 
88 sprint speed in game. His card shows 84 pace, but he's got 88 sprint speed. Now, I need to try this guy out. And if you guys go on to try him out, let me know how he plays for you down in the comment section. At number three, we have Sako, who plays for Crystal Palace. He has a 91 beast rating. His card star shows 85 pace, 76 dribbling, 75 physical, 74 passing, as well as 76 shooting. This guy has a lot of decent stats. I've never really seen anyone use him, but looking at his stats right now, he looks pretty OP. In game, you can see 86 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. He's got 87 shot power. He's actually got 84 free kicks. Like, who would have thought it? As well as 83 strength. I've never actually heard of this guy, and his stats look insane. This is why I'm making this video, guys, to show you people like this. He's a hidden gem. The stats he has, even the end game stats, are just too over the top. I'm definitely going to give him a try, and he'll be entering my sweaty beat. PPL scores. In the second position we have Kalasinac, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he has a 91 beast rating, most of the people you've seen in this video have a 91 beast rating, he has 80 pace, 76 defending and 85 physical, he's a left back so that's not too bad, in game he has 84 sprint speed, 82 shot power, 83 tackling, 82 slide tackles as well as 87 strength and 91 aggression 91 aggression and how can you be so freaking aggressive he's only 75 rated as well like what the actual heck he plays in the Bundesliga and I'm sure most of you guys won't know about him I hardly know about him myself so if you're looking to build some cheap Bundesliga teams he's probably the guy you're gonna want to throw in at left back because he's got some insane stats 91 aggression for goodness sake he's definitely worth it in the number one position we have the beast himself the king of sweat and that is Ibarbo he's got a beast rating of 92 he's got 92 pace 82 dribbling 78 physical 71 shooting and you know what the best thing is the best thing is he's now in the BPL imagine the kind of squads people are going to be building imagine the kind of squads you're going to come up against in game he has 89 acceleration 95 sprint speed 84 ball control, 84 dribbling, 81 shot power, and 83 strength. I'm actually done. <laughs> For those who don't know, he has transferred to Watford in the BPL, and because of this, he's probably going to be overused by literally everyone. Probably another reason as to why he's number one. Nevertheless, that is it for this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like rating as that would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new for more FIFA 16 content. And also let me know down in the comment section down below which player you like the look of and which player out of this list you're most likely going to use. That's about it for today. This is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching guys and see ya. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Hi. Yeah. If you enjoy, just comment and subscribe. What? Wanna see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it. <laughs> this is Team Exciting. Oh.